Hello everyone, and welcome back to Pedro Place. I'm Pedro, and we're back in, Sky in City Skylines, where in the last episode we have built this medieval village on the top of the uh, of the mountain that we have here. So I have added a couple more uh, assets to the to the build. We have some different houses here. Okay, and I think it's looking pretty, pretty nice. Okay, these people are actually complaining about uh, uh, lack of workers, but um, eventually that will be sorted. Now, today, what I would like to do, we have uh, a very uh, big demand for residential and uh, commercial, but today what I want to do is to build uh, our uh, zoo okay so our zoo will actually stay here in this area okay we will uh, use all of this for it there are some big assets uh, in the um, in the zoo so uh, I want to use all of that area so but first of all let's use Let's make a connection here to this uh, roundabout. I actually want to use these roads for it. Okay. We just get this curve here sorted so we can make this connection here. There and right here okay so let's remove all of this this node is quite weird okay people let's let's remove this code let's connect that one straight in i don't think that should be a problem but but this is weird Okay, much better now. Okay, so let's uh, um, then, first of all, let's uh, set up our zoo area. Okay, so I want all of this to be part of our zoo. Okay, and People, let's start. Let's start building. Okay, so first of all, I want to have a big gate. Actually, before that, I need to check the terrain height here, here and see what uh, uh, what it is. It's not that bad, but ideally, I want this to be all at the same level so let's do that then i'm going to pick this road and i want to increase the brush size so it will be all at the same height this side as well so will be quite uh, quite steep but that won't be a problem I think okay we can smooth this out over here as well so not quite sure what we will be doing with these uh, banks over here but we'll we will figure it out Okay, so now let's uh, get into our uh, zoo area. Let's place, I would say, I want some parking around here as well. So I can place one of these gates over here, one of these gates on the other side. I want another one over here and another one over here somewhere. Yeah. 
That's nice. Okay, so. First of all, let's uh, uh, start building some... Some paths. Okay, so. That's it. Then I want here... I want to have four of these plazas. There. Then I want this to come over the back of it. Okay. So this would be five, and this would be ideally five. Change it then, and go from there, I want 5 in this direction, 5 over here, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, and 5 more. Okay, so, then we can connect this in. And we can upgrade this bit over here. Let's place the uh, the plazas. I want them facing the inside of the uh, of the frame. Okay, perfect. Now, what else have we got? The zoo cafe. Okay, so let's place a couple of these. The souvenir shop will be right here. And I want to have a couple of restrooms. One over here and one over here. Okay, so. And then we can uh, start placing our um, assets for our uh, animals. Let me uh, stop the time. This uh, uh, won't have any water for the moment. Okay, so let's see. This would be reindeer. So the reindeer enclosure, I think we can place that, I would say. Okay, so this has a path of its own. So let's place it. right here okay what's this the birth house the birth house okay before that let me connect this over here okay I can only connect it here okay so that one is done then we have the birth house the birth house can actually fit right um, here. Yeah, what's this? Antelope. Okay, so the antelope is uh, smaller. I think we can place it on the other side of the uh, of the path. So let's bring another path over here. This would be the third one. So the antelope enclosure, which we will place right here. And for the moment, that's pretty much what uh, uh, what we have. Okay. Nonetheless, we can place a couple different things around here. You can place, for example. Here, can I actually fit a basketball court in here? I could. Yep, so I can place a basketball court there. So this is a zoo where people can also uh, go and play some, uh, some sports. 
so let's bring this up here provide all of this with water they don't have any power yet so we will need to place I think we could place the water tower here and so let me see and the power is actually jumping through okay perfect so this one here is uh, not working yet let's place a small um, volleyball court in here riding stable Riding stable is something that would actually fit in um, in um, a zoo. Okay, let's see how is the park going. So entertainment, it's already way over the. Uh, the amount we intended to be so let's um, do something else about it okay let's place some fences around it we have the zoo fence which we will be able to bring straight across here okay let me remove this let's have this adjust just to the to the angle so we can bring it straight across here and then we will be able to bring it around here okay. let's place it right there I'm going to adjust it using the uh, the move it mod. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so uh, fences on the other side as well, which I'm actually going to bring up here. Up here and connect there. So, we will also be able to place some uh, parking here, okay, so we can have a parking lot over there, parking lot over here, and over here, and over here, okay, so this area here along this uh, uh, main road will be, um, I'm going to zone this I actually want this to be uh, zoned, but I want to this to be, uh, what is it, organic and local produce, so let's zone some of this already. Okay, so it will start developing straight away. And now, uh, this means our zoo will need to uh, to level up. So, let's see. Uh, I'm going to limit the, uh, the area nonetheless. So, let's see. Let's bring this out by one. Then, all the way across. So, over there, let's bring it all the way down here. So, 
let's bring this over here so we can know so we know the limit is uh, there here uh, it won't be needed because all of this will be for the uh, the zoo so now we will basically just have to uh, wait for uh, uh, for the zoo to uh, develop and uh, upgrade to the next uh, uh, levels it is already making us money not much but it is okay so i don't think it will uh, take too uh, too long to level up okay meanwhile meanwhile i'm going to um expand this uh, uh, this road i'm going to build this here along the uh, the shoreline There we go. Now, um, one thing I'm going to do uh, differently around here will be this. Using our uh, our zoo path, the one with decorations, of course. I'm going to do this. Uh, maybe a little further out. So maybe over here. Let's bring this up. And I'm going to bring it straight across here, like that. So how long is this? Six. So six units. Let's bring it to ground level. Then let's bring it here and connect it over there. Okay, so now we have uh, a nice path over the road that will allow uh, people to uh, to actually go from one side to the other on the uh, on the zoo so it's almost leveling up 30 more visitors needed let's just wait for it so we can um, add some uh, some new assets There we go. So we have the uh, insect, amphibian, and reptile house, and the bison enclosure. So these ones are the ones, the first ones I'm going to place on this side. Okay. So once again, let's pick our path. Let's bring it all the way out here, over there. Here, I want to place one of these plazas. Let's draw a path around it and I want once again here a cafe, the souvenir shop will be on this side here and I also want the restrooms right here next to the, uh, to the cafe. Okay, so once again they need water, let's provide them with water and they will need power as well okay so now most likely we will be able to get the power from that uh, uh, from the other side okay so we have the bison enclosure which is quite uh, quite big let's bring our path a little bit out this way like this 
then the bison enclosure will be able to sit there nicely yes against the uh, the path so the power has uh, gone across no it hasn't okay so we have the insect amphibian and reptile house this is quite a, a big building which i want to place over here okay so we still have plenty of space uh, available We can also place a couple of these uh, plazas with big tables, one over there perhaps, another one over here I would say, yep, and a plaza with trees, one over here, and another one over here centered with this path okay okay i need to upgrade this uh, these paths it's uh, there are way too many trees here so let's remove them over there okay Okay, also, I think it's uh, looking good for the moment now. At the moment, is not making us any money. On the contrary, we are losing a lot of money with it. Okay, but the purpose is to uh, level it up and have the, uh, the zoo uh, growing and upgrading to the, uh, to the next levels. Meanwhile, I'm going to do something here. Uh, want to do this from here to here okay let me try it again so from here to here okay and that will build a stair a fence absolutely parallel to the uh, to the road and now we can bring this one over here, connect there. And this one we can connect over here. Okay, so. Looks nice, I think. Okay, so. These uh, commercial areas have developed already, which I thought they uh, they would. We have a little uh, awkward terrain uh, forms here, but we will leave it for the moment. Now, all of these uh, uh, people here, there are a lot of visitors. So, I don't think it will take too long to um, to level up. But either way, this is something I would like to uh, to try and complete today in today's episode. But uh, I am not entirely sure if we will be able to. Okay. Meanwhile, we have here our uh, university area which is looking quite uh, quite nice it needs a lot of attra attractiveness to uh, to level up from this point but um, it has more students than it uh, would actually need to uh, to upgrade but um, i will try to give it a little boost to the attractiveness okay um, and see whether we will be able to 
to get it closer to, to the next level. So, right here next to the, uh, to the dorms. I'm going to fit in here. This is a skate park, I think. Yeah. I'm going to f fit one of these in. I'm not quite sure if it will add to the attractiveness of the campus, to be honest, but... No, it actually didn't. No, it didn't. Okay. Well, so, uh, what can we do about it? Well, I guess we can build a, um, one of these uh, things right here. They are massive, but I think it's something that we would be able to, uh, to do. Okay, let me see. Okay, I'm going to place this. Uh, are these smaller? I don't think they are smaller. I think they just have different shapes. <laughs> but I don't think they're smaller. Okay, well let me uh, let me stop the game a little bit, so I can. Uh, I'm going to place one of these things here. Okay. But I want to have a road coming off here, the uh, the main road. Okay. Um, which road could we get in here? This one with the trees, maybe? These roads aren't, uh, aren't that easy, so I think it, uh, uh, it may actually work. Okay, so let's draw this out. Twenty-one. Then I'm going to do a small five by five curve here, and I'm going to connect it here. Okay. Then I'm going to pick this, flip it around onto that road. And right against that uh, uh, the side of that road over there. Okay, so it should increase our attractiveness a little bit. Not much, but it did. And even our university is already making us a, a, a profit, so... Yeah, this will take uh, a bit to, uh, to develop. No, no way around it. But uh, we can... Either way... We can place a couple more um, plazas around here. Large playground. I think a large playground would be nice. And we can place it. I was going to say there, but. Here, let's say. Yep. So it connects to that path straight away. Although it says it doesn't. Path or road access needed. So. So, like this, it works. But if I, pu uh, if I push it out by one unit, it doesn't. 
really? You gotta be kidding me. So if I place this here... Like this... Okay, I thought so. It doesn't. Really? I thought it would. Oh, now it does. Okay. Okay then. Fine. Strange things happen here, people. Strange things happen. Okay, do we have a time traffic light here? Yes, we do. We have some traffic building up here, not entirely sure why, but there's not much traffic on the roundabout, so that shouldn't be a problem. I don't think it's uh, it's that bad. I don't think it looks uh, it looks bad. But uh, like I told you, we need to uh, to wait for it to uh, to level up. No way around it. Okay. Nonetheless, people, let's leave this uh, episode here. Okay. Uh, I we will um, upgrade our zoo in further episodes. Okay, uh, no, but we need to uh, to allow it to uh, to level up, and for that for that we need to give it some time. Okay, people, thank you so much for uh, for watching. Please uh, leave your suggestions and comments down below. Like the video and subscribe to my channel if you feel like to. Okay, and I'll see you soon in the next episode.